Why you couldn't tell me shit when I got that bitch? So now that's where I went to popping my shit on live. You old broke ass nigga, bitch ass. So that's how I got her. Up. <laughs> so wait, were, were you telling people that the the purses were knocked off, or were you finessing? No, no, I wasn't. I was making them people leave, and nigga, well, we were scamming for them. Y'all had them people thinking I had a scammer. I was buying them from a scammer because what I was doing, I was going to some back room through some back doors and meeting some. Nah, homie, they got some game out there. So we would go to the Beverly Hills Center Mall and compare. And shit, nigga, once I saw you couldn't beat the comparison, and now this on in L.A. I don't know about nowhere else. Nigga, L.A. got a mean, man, nigga, out of L.A. That's some international game, my nigga. The replicas look really, really good. Yeah, so, uh, and, and then I had a, I, I had a, a nigga gave me a connection. So I had a, I had a foreign connection for it. So uh, shout out to my nigga Willie. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nah, my nigga, I wasn't telling nobody nothing, nigga. So he just gave his foreign connection up, Willie. <laughs> Charles the White ain't got no filter, man. This dude is something different, bro. He from another planet, bro. He kind of do look like an alien a little bit. <laughs> nah, I'm just trolling. But man, he different. If y'all think Charles the White different, let me know down below in the comment section, man. How y'all feel he different? <laughs> he different to me. Throw no motherfucking alarm clock in no graveyard. Keep him sleep. <laughs> Man, uh, so I mean, you were in jail, and <laughs> did, did that make you look at life like, like, damn? Did it humble you a little bit? No, you ain't seen. You ain't been seeing Happen. my videos. I got out of jail. Do I see? Yeah. No, nah, nigga, I was still strutting in there, nigga. Oh. Uh, uh, nigga, I was, yeah, nah, homie, because I ain't done nothing wrong. I'm gonna be humble for it. Nigga, I ain't done nothing wrong. Nigga, when you look at the video with the cat, I meant to bring you the water can, but I can't even have the gun. Nigga, the water don't even hit the cat. The water don't even touch the cat. So, nigga, I, ain't, nigga, I sprayed water on a relative's cat, and the water never touched. So, I got the owner of the cat as my, as my witness, who's also seen and heard in the video. Uh, the two aggravated assaults, homie, that's bullshit. That's self-defense. Uh, no, nah, nigga, fuck, I'm gonna be humble for. Nigga, I ain't done a motherfucking thing wrong but smoke some weed. Man, Charles the White said he ain't sprayed a uh, cat with no pepper spray or bear mace or whatever they were saying. He said he ain't, he said that he was with the owner. And he said that he ain't harmed the cat at all. We know that's cap. He weird and wicked. He probably did spray that cat with some bear mace because he kind of like deranged a little bit, man. Charleston White be going to the next level, bro. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but I know you just being Charleston White, you can go anywhere, do anything you want to do to going from that to sitting in the box for five days. Uh, yeah, nigga, it hurt. It cried. Had a nigga ass whimpering on the inside, but that's just on the inside. Nigga, my thought process is, is nigga, fuck you whimpering for. Nigga, you got a bad ass lawyer. Uh, and you innocent till you proven guilty. Nigga, you ain't been sentenced. Nigga, you these five days. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's miserable. But nigga, you here for smoking weed. And every everybody saying, man, they wrong in the motherfucker. Everybody know they just fucking with me. God, everybody. Nigga. And then my support. He said, God, me. everybody. Oh. Uh, <laughs> how they love me in this city. It's something that hate me now. But nigga just, just A lot of people do hate him, though. Nigga, I'm crazy. not going to lie, bro. I be reading the comments, man. I be reading the comments, bro. Y'all, some people don't like him. Some people like him, man. I don't know. It be, it be on and off. Some people like him one day. Some people, you know, it depends on what he talking about. Charleston White is a uh, wishy-washy character. You got to go off his uh, emo, like the, the tempo of the moment that he in. Nigga, niggas putting in requests to talk. The whole jail going crazy just because I'm there. The jail is going crazy because Charleston White is there. So, uh, nigga, the guards, the nurses, uh, homie, uh, man's little nigga named Cedric. Cedric, man, that play for Memphis. Nigga, man, come through, him and his girl. Nigga, he ain't even on my visiting list. They let him see me. So, nigga, I got fans showing up. It's a line downstairs. People calling. Uh, and I got an iPad, nigga, where I can talk to my wife visiting me on the iPad video call. And I'm laying in that motherfucking cell, nigga, watching movies. Like, yeah, uh, I just mentally got to talk to myself because, nigga, I'm in isolation. So, but no, nah, nigga, humble. Uh, 
it's a time to reflect. Okay, nigga, you ain't, okay, you've been doing this shit for a year. You getting you some rest? You been partying, you been kicking, you been trapping? Okay, then go on and get you some rest. Okay, nigga, while you in there, go on do your little fasting. You been eating out, you been, so nigga, I ain't, I ain't eat for, well, I didn't eat Thursday, I didn't eat Friday, I didn't eat Saturday, I didn't eat Sunday. I just bought some shit off the commissary, ate me some chips. Oh, uh, yeah, nah, nigga, so do you some push-ups. Nigga did me a little push-up. Uh, but now, nah, nigga, it's a time to self-reflect. It's not the time to go pity me, po me. Nigga, you like smoking weed. Man, he be capping. He just said not too long ago that he cried when he went to jail. But when the people came back around, he like, bro, he be just talking, bro. He know how to get it going. He know how to make certain people um really believe like the theories that he put out, bro. Like he know how to trick the internet, bro. He be playing on the internet, bro. And it's up to you to fall into it. I'm not falling into it. We gonna commentate. And we're going to change the effect, man. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, though. If you made it this far in the video and you forgot, man, make sure you turn that thumb blue. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn them post notification bells on. Turn them notifications on to all. So you can get all the content and you can follow up from the next time I drop. We're going to get back into this, though. We're going to see what he's talking about, man. Charleston White is a fool. Yeah, I like smoking. What I tell you, you like smoking weed, right? Nigga, you in here for doing what you like to do. Fuck you, gonna be for what? You in here doing what you? Imagine going to jail for smoking weed, bro. That's crazy. What you like to do? You can't be mad at nobody. Can't be mad at the judge. None of that. You been doing what you like to do the whole time. So, nigga, what you gonna pull me pity yourself for? Okay, nigga, what we gonna do when we get out? Nigga, more merchandise. Look, time look. to plan and strategize. More <laughs> merchandise. Uh, nigga, get with this person. <laughs> Say, man, call them people. Uh, yeah, nigga. So now, nah, nigga, I'm I'm in there giving orders. Nigga, being demanding. Uh, because now I can think. Now I ain't got everybody calling me, answering the phone. I ain't jumping up in the morning, jumping online, going. You see what I'm saying? So now, nigga, I can finally got me four, five good days where I can think. And it ain't time to think. Poor me. No, nigga, this shit ain't. This shit ain't lasting. You ain't got no life sentence, nigga. You in here for something you like to do. Deal with the consequences. Don't let these people catch you fucked up down bad. Nigga, don't let these don't let these people fuck you off over some bullshit. Now you done done what you like to do now. I wonder how he got caught smoking what weed though. Like what they seen him on online smoking or what? Like, I don't know. Did they drug test him? He be get a drug test or something? Like, I don't know, bro. What if he didn't even go to jail for no weed? What if he didn't pay his bond? He was so caught up in the internet he forgot to pay his bond. Now go on, follow the rules now, Charles. Okay, my nigga. But nigga, come Monday, when the judge didn't say nothing, and I'm calling my wife and my mama, and it's 3 o'clock, I said, Mama, I thought the judge said he gonna send an email to the lawyer by 4. She said, son, it ain't 4 yet, by 5. Nigga, when 4 came and it wasn't no email, that's when a nigga fell on his knees. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You know that feeling, you know that feeling, man. But he definitely was sick in jail, though. You feel me? Uh, Lil Woody was trolling him cold, viciously. He was trolling him. And um, now that uh, Charleston White out, it seemed like Charleston White making all the noise, man. I wonder when Woody gonna start being more loud. You feel me? <laughs> we need the content. That's when a nigga, when the, that's when they pulled me when they're trying to seep in, nigga. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, man, they gonna try to keep a nigga to the next court date. Well, when's the next court date? In December? Nigga fell to his knees. Oh, boy, I called him. Lord, Jesus Christ, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't called on the Lord Jesus in so long. <sighs> nigga, I bypassed God and went to, to Jesus. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Nah, uh, but I, I, I don't know, man. What, what he said, you was in there for karma, man. He was like, uh, it's karma. Well, maybe, what's his karma for killing nuts? They gave him full immunity. For killing nuts. Mm, Lil Woody did say that. He was, he said, that's karma, bro. That's karma. I ain't gonna lie. He responded, man, this is a long interview. He had a lot of talking to do fresh out of jail. I wouldn't even want to talk that much. I'd be getting my mind together. Like, man, Charleston White is a money pumping machine. He'd be on the go. He chasing the bag all day. It's crazy. Everybody fueling this fire. Say Cheese a cool platform though, man. I want to shout out Say Cheese, man. 
y'all ain't subscribed, make sure y'all go subscribe to Say Cheese. He got a dope platform, man. I'm not going to lie. The link going to be posted down below in the description. Y'all can go tap into the full interview. What's his karma? And I ain't never killed nobody. I've never shot a gun at a black person. He been shooting guns. He been stepping people. And he killed nuts. So what's his karma? The, the retarded baby? What's his karma for killing nuts? I heard him apologize to Young Thug. I heard him apologize to the community, but I never heard him say my victims. He, I, he, I never heard him say I apologize to my victims and call them by name. Because you got immunity from the state because you lied on Young Thug and had Atlanta thinking Young Thug had something to do with nuts being killed. So I ain't heard, what's your karma for that, Woody? Because I've never shot nobody. I've never hurt nobody. So how bad can my karma be? Five days in jail for karma? Karma ain't shit. I'd take karma any day. But that wasn't karma. Those were the consequences for my actions. I knew when I went to court that morning I had a warrant. Because I had just went and seen my bond probation officer. I pissed dirty. So I already mm. knew the warrant was coming. I knew it was something. He had to pee dirty or something. He had to do something. He did something. I don't think they, they could get him for smoking online unless they test him just because they got that knowledge or I don't know, but that's low-key like boosting the system. I don't know, man, for all you uh probationers and parolees and all that, man. If you watching this video, let me know uh how that how they like how did that work for him? I already knew when I got up that morning, nigga, they got a warrant for your ass when you go to court. I already knew that that Thursday. So I knew that a week before. Oh, that's why he was going so crazy what's, on the what's net. What's his karma for killing nuts? Can anybody explain that? All the gangster niggas that done kill people, hurt people, what's they karma? Why my karma got to come? Lil Dirk still ain't got his karma. He done been to rehab and gave his life to the Arab community. When, when they karma? Shit, nigga not done called on the Lord Jesus Christ. See, most people don't know karma only come to Muslim people. Karma don't come to clean a rehab and gave his life to the Arab community. When, when they come? Shit, nigga not done called on the Lord Jesus Christ. See, most people don't know karma only come to Muslim people. Karma don't come to Christians because once you ask for forgiveness, it's wiped away. Mercy and grace over her, God. <laughs> Lord, thank you, Father God. Mercy and grace, Father. Oh, I'm over here with mercy and grace. Ain't no karma with mercy and grace, nigga. That's what the mercy and grace is for. That's why I'm over here with the Christians. Come on, exists with heathens, atheists, and Muslims. I heard, um, I heard Woody's response to our interview we did that that did numbers. It did uh, over a million views. Um, and he seems like a pretty changed man, though. Um, I mean, his response to you wasn't aggressive. It was, I pray for Mr. Charleston. I don't um, need him to pray for me. I need him to pray for <laughs> nut mom and daddy who keep showing up for that trial that won't smile. I ain't gonna lie though, Charleston White, he keep he keep boasting about how he's locked in with nut people. He even called nut uh people on the phone one time while he was on live like yesterday or something like that, man. And I ain't gonna cap. He been he been on the ramp on Woody for nut for the nut situation. I think he went around Lil Woody to find out if Lil Woody would admit to him that he really killed nut. But I, I don't know, man. We'll never know, bro. You know, but we gonna definitely commentate though. But mm -hmm. how y'all feel about that, though, man? Because uh, Lil Woody did apologize to Young Thug and all that, but I don't know. We got to see what Thug talking about. You know, Thug going to determine if Lil Woody good in the streets of Atlanta or not, I'm guessing. I don't know how the Atlanta politics work, but if somebody watching this video and you from Atlanta, man, tap in and let us know, man. We, we going we gonna to be updated on that. I'm going to stay bringing that type of news to y'all. That's what he told me. He said, every day them people, this is what Woody told me about nut mama and daddy. They stir him down with anger and they never take their eyes off of him. I need him to pray for them. Have that same compassion for them, my nigga. Don't have it for me because I don't, I don't like a killer nigga that don't want to go do time and still mm. trying to play killer nigga. He ain't he, a changed man. Nigga, you got to repent to change. Mm. You got to repent to change, my nigga. And the first part of repent, my nigga, is uh, acknowledging the victim. And I've yet to see him do that. And that's what I would tell him and his team. 
I would tell him, and it don't, nigga, you done kill people. That's what. That's why he would get mad at me. Because I reminded him, nigga, you hurt people, nigga. Mm. You want me to walk with a nigga who done hurt people, and I ain't never hurt nobody. I ain't never hurt nobody, my nigga. I ain't never brought home to my people. We're going to call a cap on that, and that's what Lil Woody was talking about. He was saying that Charleston White be calling all these people killers and all that. But definitely, Charleston White came in the game saying that he went to a boy's home for killing a white dude or some an old white man or something like that. So I don't know, bro. He be he be he be talking, bro. That should let y'all know right there what type of dude he is. I mean, he just be popping it, bro. Charleston White pops it, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. And if you can't uh just listen to what he say and not let it affect you. You gonna be in deep trouble dealing with Charleston White. He gonna be under your skin. He gonna sleep in your head, rent free in a condo, maybe even a mansion. <laughs> People, my nigga. So I don't give a damn about no karma. His karma way worse. Look at his daughter. That's karma. That's karma, nigga. What your kids got to deal with for what you done done. That's karma, nigga. Your daughter get teased, nigga, cause her leg won't walk straight. Mm. Nigga, my daughter graduated high school, so nigga, I don't give a fuck about no. I don't even think karma real, nigga. Pussy is karma, ain't. Um, I, it's funny because when you got out of jail yesterday, you was flexing all this money, which you got right next. I to just you. left the bank again. Yeah, yeah, I did. He definitely was flexing a big bank roll. He had a big, juicy, big, big meatloaf. I'm not gonna lie, he was growing up flaunting that that internet money and then he say he got some more so ain't gonna cut man charleston white definitely touching the bag and when he was talking about these rappers and how they dress and stuff he definitely doing everything that he talked about them for doing he definitely following the trend look at his chains charleston white bust down over there and i know them ain't fake know them real oh man charleston white running it up they gave, me, they gave me a bag yesterday. I went and got some more just to do that. I just, I just want to do it. And I'm getting more. I, so what I did, I went and got $9,000 out the bank. I went and gave my mama two or 3000 I bought a house for my wife while I was in jail. I had my manager. I had my manager come get my debit card and go into my bank account. I had him come get my phone, not my debit card. My mama had my, my car. My wife had my car. So I had my manager come get my phone with my banking information on it. My wife had clothes on the house for her and my daughter. Uh, so... And he keeps talking about his wife closing on the house with him and his daughter. I think that his wife is wants to separate from Charleston White, man, because he's been going crazy. He's been on the fan bus, 20 V1s. You know Charleston White definitely got up in some guts for sure. All that chili, he be tricking. You feel me? So we know for a fact that I think that's why he going on a rant like this. You feel me? That's probably his way of showing his wife that he crashing out. You feel me? So, yeah, man, dude, dude. Got a lot of things going on in his life right now. He just got caught cheating. You feel me? And that's why he fell out with the manager that Lil Woody has now, which is Angel. And that's why Lil Woody was feeling some type of way. He said Charleston White gonna pay for that. I wanted to put the money up, but I was in jail. So I had my, so they thinking they gonna have to wait on me. So nigga, I had my manager come down there and get my phone, nigga, and have him go into my bank account and transfer the money into my wife's account while I was in jail so I can surprise on that money so her and my daughter can still get the keys to the house. So nigga, I'm making boss moves in there. Nigga, I'm still a boss now. I still got to handle <laughs> business. Yeah, I still got to handle business uh, uh, because, because, because Say Cheese TV, TMZ, on site, no, not on site, because Say Cheese TV, TMZ, and Complex reported inaccurate information about my arrest. They reported false, inaccurate information about my arrest. I lost a comedy show that cost me about $25,000. Mm. Complex me. reported that these was new charges. You know Charleston White and Say Cheese so cool. Sean probably gave that man like 50. Like, huh, man, don't worry about that, man. We're going to interview it up. You know how it go. <laughs> Charleston White and Sean Cotton is uh, com uh, a good duo, though, right? That's like Shaq and Kobe for real. I ain't gonna lie. Now, how y'all feel about Say Cheese and Charleston White interviews? Do y'all like them? If y'all do, put a thumbs up emoji in the chat. So Damn. Complex said these are eerily similar to the charges of last year. So when the venue saw that, they pulled my comedy show. 
Because they say, oh, man, but these are old charges. But because y'all posted as if they knew charges, yeah, my comedy venue pulled, man, for, yeah, 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 I was booked like a motherfucker at a spot. Damn. Lost me 25K. So the mm. lawyer's name is sending the cease and desist letter. I told him, take say TV off the list. You had one That's coming, real. too, that- nigga. <laughs> That's why I called you as soon as I got out. You had one coming. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah, I had my lips stuck out like a motherfucker. But you see how fast he had turned on somebody, though? He was for the turn over 25000 man. He make that like nothing, you feel me? Especially with Say Cheese. Carson White been running up a bag, though, bro. You ain't gonna lie. Woody, he was flexing his bag, but he kind of slowed down. Somebody must have mentored him and told him, like, you know, you showing too much of your chili. <laughs> that's real uh, but nah your fans say that you used to make fun of rappers for flexing money and jewelry now you doing the same thing oh uh, so I keep telling y'all I'm playing online they thought I was serious people really thought I had a problem with rappers nigga that was all nigga I ain't nigga I have a problem with rappers and I listen to rap <laughs> all his lives that's all he do is right around listening to music all day so I have a problem with rappers talking about killing people, black people. I don't give a damn about no rapper flexing money. But I use it for content like I do. And I was broke then. See, they talking about the broke Charles. Man, I ain't broke no more, man. When you broke, you do all kind of shit you don't understand. I ain't broke no more, my nigga. So yeah, I'm living like, I just bought me some red bottle, my nigga. I'm living like the rap. You ain't never seen oh, me. I got, I got some, I got two pair of Gucci shoes. I got the black low top Gucci's, the high top Gucci's, the other Gucci's. I got the, nigga, I don't want to got these bad ass red bottom right here. Nigga can't tell, nigga, I'm living man, like the rapper. Nigga, hell man, yeah. You talk, man, you talk so much shit about designer, man. <laughs> he too. said, I'm living like the rappers he definitely is with that big juicy combination set he got he got a big set i ain't gonna cap he got some juicy chains he got some pieces on i ain't gonna lie but i know for a fact them little charms and stuff he he uh he pawned them with his jeweler or something because he had to pay bail and all this and that so yeah you see he ain't wearing them other chains no more <laughs> probably getting one piece made he probably busting it down Years I got, ago. I, I, Cause I couldn't afford it. You remember I told you how I was toward the hoverboard? I used to hate a hoverboard motherfucker till I could buy one. <laughs> Boy, but I couldn't buy a hoverboard. I hated anything about a hoverboard. New commercial, anything. Daddy, why, why is your damn near want to whoop the kid? Ask me about a motherfucking hoverboard. I soon as I could buy one, I bought four of them. So no, 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 my nigga. I'm no, no, I'm no. Just talking broke, man. Don't, don't pay a broke motherfucker no mind. I was broke, y'all. I ain't broke no more. Uh, um, you you recently went viral for uh, you was with Aiden Ross were on his stream and you shut a girl down from Canada, who was repeatedly repeatedly saying the n word. She thought she was nigga. Yeah, she was talking like she was real nigga. I hey, I'm what you mean? Nigga? She talking like it's niggas in Canada. See, motherfucker don't know, homie. Nigga only apply to America. Niggas have never existed in Africa. Niggas have never existed nowhere but on American soil. Most real niggas don't leave American soil. They don't even leave their neighborhoods, nigga. Let alone leave out the country. Where would an American nigga do outside the country? Those are black Americans that have a desire to leave. Most niggas just want to be left alone. They don't have no vision to leave and travel the motherfucking world. Because they know they're going to get mistreated anywhere they go because they niggas. So yeah, I had to shit because... You can be white and be nigger by way of mindset. But you, you can't get with niggas and play like you nigger. Nah, that ain't gonna lie, though. That's a fact, though, because we all got some other hom- some homies that's other races, and when you look at it, it's just like they black to you. They talk like that. They was raised like that. You been with them. So if you know, you know. Look, man, it's your boy Stingy, man, and I'm going to need y'all to turn that thumb button blue. Subscribe to the channel if you knew. And yeah, man, I'm finna gas up on this good old wood. And uh, yeah, man, talk to me. I talk back, man. To the next one, we out, man. Peace.